Okay, so an example of e to h positive that I'm sure that you thought about is the fact that trees give us oxygen because without oxygen, we would die. And that is a positive thing that Mother Nature does for us. Um, another example that you might have come up with is the fact that um, animals do provide food for us. And you guys know I'm not the best drawer. But chickens provide eggs. And that is something positive for us because it is food that we could eat. Okay, on the left-hand side, I do want you to once again write E to H. But now we're not looking at positive examples. We're looking at something negative that the environment does to us or for us. So once again, pause the video as you uh, write and draw examples of E to H negative. Okay, some examples of E to H negative. Could be natural disasters. So a tsunami destroys homes and can kill people. Another example of E to H negative, poisonous plants can make you sick or kill you. So poisonous plants can make people ill or it could kill them. So these are just a couple of examples of human environment interaction. We looked at both H to E positive and negative and E to H positive or negative. So make sure to bring your notes uh, to class tomorrow because now we're going to take these concepts and apply them to our current unit.